Welcome back to Seashorn Vlog and we're here with another snack crate box and this time it's a road trip. So this is September snack crate box um, and what they've done um, for this one rather than picking a country, they've kind of picked a country, they went to the USA um, and they found loads of the small businesses um, and small manufacturers of goodies um, all around the the USA um, and they've put that in a box together just to help support small businesses in, in all of these times. So do that for your local area as well. Is, is it from all around the USA yeah. or not just Route 66? No, but it's, it's all around and they've used like Route 66 as, um, as their thing. But yeah, that's, they're from all over. Because I feel like I want to sing the song Route 66. Yeah. <laughs> it goes all, all, all around. Um, we've got a few of these snack tasting videos on the channel so if you like them um, and you're not already subscribed, subscribe down below and hit that notification bell because we do loads of different content here um, and would love it if you liked the video and left us a comment tell us what you'd like to try. But let's uh, let's dive right in. What should we start with? Um, I think you need to start with, actually, should we start from north to south? No. East to west? No, no, we'll just start with what, what I pick out in the box, okay. which is this one. Chesapeake crab, root 11 chips. The spicy briny taste that makes crab so delicious is now captured in chip form from Virginia. All the bye, am I right? All the bye, bye, bye. I think, I, I think these are going to be fishy. But you and dad they don't, like- They don't smell fishy. But you, you and dad love fishy crisps. I can't taste any crab. Oh my god, they're salty. But they're salty and spicy and they're definitely salty. Like, so salty. Well, it did say... Like... Briny. Really, really salty. It's brain. It's pure brain. Wow. A crab feast without the shell. Really spicy. They're really spicy, actually, oh, but hold really that. salty. Hold. hold. Dad, can you pass me drink, please? Wow, they're spicy. They're just pure salt. And spice. The spice is not it taking my mouth over to the brain. And I like... They're salty. I like spicy stuff, but that's like brain. Let's go for the next option. So these, these are Better Made Special Barbecue Flavoured Potato Chips. These spicy sweet chips from Michigan are more than just your average barbecue chip. Michigan, Mich Michiganders? Is that how you say it? Michiganders? Or Michiganders? Insisted they be included. How, how would you actually say it? Michiganders? Or Michiganders? Yeah, we know it's Michigan. They are possibly the nicest barbecue flavour crisps I've ever had. Are they vegetarian? Is it beefy barbecue? It doesn't say vegetarian, but there's no meat product in the ingredients. And it's vegetable oil and stuff that they cooked in. So. I'm telling you there's no beef or pork or chicken. They are... I'm having another one while she's reading. They are delicious. Mm. They're my favourite thing so far. Can I just say it? Thank you, they're mine. Yes, you can say that they're mine. They're very nice, but they're salty again. No, but you're still getting the salt from the crab. <sighs> Who's got crabs? Not me, Dad. Okay, what have we got next? Dad, would you like to try a crab? Yeah. Okay, what if we... Noise, man. Okay, what have we got next? We have made with delicious prickly pear cactus. It's cactus candy. Small jelly gummies from Arizona made from real prickly pear cactus. They're small, tangy and sweet, which makes them the perfect snack on the go. I don't think I'll be allowed these ones. You can. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. yeah, vegetable juice. Ah, no, no gelatin at all? Mm. How do I get in? I don't think you opened it to the right angle. Well, I pulled the little thing. Like a condom, mother. <laughs> Isn't it? Oh, I'm not sure that looks that nice.
You know what it looks like? A huge cola cube. It's not good. It's nice. I like it. Not for me. I like that. That's, That's sweet. Very sweet. It tastes like kind of like I, a berry flavor. I like cactus. Yeah, but it that's like me. a like a berry flavor. Just a jelly. Okay, what, what what have we got next? What's this? It's the Joy's Black and White. Joy's Black and White. The soft and fluffy cookies from New York will put you in an empire state of mind. Separate the sides of it and the gone. It's all up to you. Now I want to sing the song, Empire State of Mind. You can half it, or eat it like that. It's just all dainty with a bite. That's really soft. Very soft and fluffy. It's a little bit dense, but it's soft and fluffy, and the icing's really nice. It's like typical ice and flavor. Sweet. Mm hmm. Hey. Next up, we have a goo goo cluster, a goo which is peanut caramel and marshmallow nougat covered in milk chocolate. It's an ooey gooey candy cluster from Tennessee filled with caramel, peanuts, and marshmallow and coated in chocolate. I can't have that. Why? Because of the marshmallow. Okay. Oh, it's all gooey inside, coming out the goo. Guess that's why it's called a goo goo doll. Oh, what? Goo goo. Yeah. Cluster. Oh, I can't get you out. The caramel. There's like loads of caramel left in the packet there. Sean, while you're nibbling, what state's nickname is the first state? Do you know? Um. Virginia? Delaware. Which state Latin roots means Arizona? Arizona? Yes, got it in one. That was easy. Three. Tornado Valley is made up of what state? Um, Louisiana. Nope. Alabama. Nope. Do you know where Tornado Valley is? I'm thinking of Hurricane. Um, Mississippi. Nope, you're so far off the beaten track. It is Kansas, Iowa, Texas, and Nebraska. That's nice. Very caramony. Did you just eat the whole whack yourself? Mm hmm. Sticky finger. Oh. More thanks. Oh, it's actually. A recipe on how to make lobster roll. <coughs> I think you did wrong in eating that all. Off you go. I didn't. My mouth is still full that of sugar. True. I mean, full of salt. That is delightful. Delightful, darling. Do it want? is absolutely superb. Mm -hmm. well. And Sally's, these treats from Louisiana are a stretchy cluster of buttery caramel, crunchy peanuts, sorry, pecans. Don't forget to bring a toothpick. Let's leave them to last. I don't think it's Wurzel Gummidge's Aunt Sally. Because it looks like it's just a pile of caramel. So we're going to leave that one to last. It's pink. It's like a peanut brittle. Oh, but it's mostly caramel. caramel. Mm -hmm. I think that's the idea behind it. Okay. This is. Marshall's Buckeyes. They might literally resemble a Buckeyes, but these chocolatey peanut butter balls from Ohio are so creamy and melt in your mouth. Oh, someone likes a ball in his mouth. And you're often especially when it, on them. Especially when it melts. There we go. That's what it looks like. I don't know if I can have these. I don't think I want them anyway. It's basically a clump of not very nice peanut butter. Okay, I don't want one. 
not very nice pillow bar at all. And what is a book eye when it's at home? No. Anyone know? It's not a Reese's. Is that what you No. I don't think I can eat much of this. An Idaho spud. It's not potato though, I don't think. The candy bar that put Idaho on the map. That's a stretch from the fluffy, chocolatey flavour infused with coconut flakes. It's heavenly. I bet you it's no bounty. The taste of heaven. Well, let's find out. I can't open the packet, so we have to do it for me. Idaho spud. It's like a snowball. Pardon. It looks Pardon. like a snowball. Mm. I'm going to check and see if I'm allowed it. Because I don't know if it's got marshmallow in it. Okay, no. That's not very nice at all. That is really awful chocolate in the middle. There's a lot of artificial flavour in it. That is just not nice. It's really not nice. I can, really I bad can try this flavor. one. It doesn't mention anything about marshmallow or anything in this, but that to me is like marshmallow. So your chocolate marshmallow, but it's really horrible. But there's no marshmallow in it. But it's horrible. No, not for me. Probably would like that. That is just nasty. Okay, got four more things. And we've got Abba Zabba by Annabelle's. Abba Zabba do. Chewy toffee peanut butter centre. Salty peanut butter coated with a thick layer of chewy sweet taffy. The perfect flavour balance exists. Thank you, California. Go California. California. I want a single bar. I don't want any taffy. It looks like a, a weird non coloured wham bar or something. Oh you're gonna snap it you're gonna snap your already snapped tooth. <sighs> oh no don't I'm gonna lose some teeth with this. Go and chop some off. I'm not touching that. It tastes awful. Is it? Mm -hmm. Is it like their version of a wham bar or something? No. Oh look, it's just the peanut butter. The taste isn't very nice and then the peanut butter hits mine, it's just peanut butter. King very da chewy. King Dave and I won't be trying because we don't want to lose teeth. Your dad's not got many left to lose. <laughs> and I've already lost teeth because some didn't grow in when I was younger. So I've got gaps. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or some grew the wrong way. We have. Jerky, is it? I'll try this. Come along, Tom. It's elk jerky. Chewy and satisfying. These elk jerky sticks from New Mexico are packed with great flavour and protein. Mm -hmm. It's elk and pork stick. Dad might like that. He likes pork. Okay. Let's try some elk. What, pork and elk? Well, what does elk taste like? I don't know. Elk? Would the elk be a bit like venison? Right, I've got the tip out. I'll give you a tip. Don't ever... Eat yellow snow. Don't ever zip yourself. Okay, I've got the tip out. Let's give it a sniff. Because you always sniff the tip, right? Doesn't smell bad. No. It smells, smells meaty. Mm -hmm. It looks a bit like pepperoni. Right. I broke the tip. It looks like a pepperoni. Focus, focus, don't. So, ooh, okay. I don't like that. You don't? No. Why? 
no, I don't like that. When I first bit it and got the first taste, I thought, oh, that tastes quite nice. It's a bit like a smoky sausage. Mm -hmm. Which is what it kind of smells like a bit. There's a little bit of spice in there. That's coming now. But then the taste that comes second is not very nice. So the initial taste is nice. Mm -hmm. The follow-on taste is not very nice. I'm just going to go up camera and get it. Smells nice. I'll get King Dave's opinion, see what he thinks. Oh, I'll take that. Dad. Elk. Elk. Right, so you can agree to disagree with Sean. It's yeah. just neat. King Dave off camera is trying some elk. It's the elk and pork. I thought it was like licorice. It's got the texture. No. It's just pork now. Onions, you have going. No. Ooh. The follow on taste. Dave doesn't like it either. Okay, two more things. A food item and a drink. Oh, it's giving me wind. Okay. Um, Another jerky. The last food item is tuna jerky. Ahi tuna jerky from Hawaii. From Hawaii. Tuna jerky is a traditional Hawaiian snack. It has a zesty, salty flavour, making it a great fuel up bite. Now, I like tuna. Never had but tuna I don't jerky. like fishy. I like fresh fish. I just don't like fishy stuff after the fact. Mm -hmm. Does it smell like fish food? <coughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I won't be trying this one for once. You make me. This is the first you. ever item. Can, has this got gelatin in? Because if it has, I can't have no, it. No, it's just tuna. Hold on, we'll check first. It's just dry tuna. Tuna, sugar, soy sauce, garlic, onion, pepper. Guys, go on here. No, I don't want a whole piece. No, you're getting it. Go on, open your mouth. Open your mouth, it's going in whole. Yeah, that's what you normally do. <laughs> I don't even think you tasted it. Get that back in your mouth. Oh. Yeah, Dave, try some of this. It's tuna? I can't tuna. stand tuna. Oh. He likes tuna steaks. Oh my goodness. That's like licking a fish tank. Give it to your cats. Okay, we're left with one final item. Oh, that is so horrible. Oh. That's what she said. Um, it's Ale 81, a late one. Oh, Sean. Oh, how could you do it? Oh. This is fizzy with a touch of ginger. This zesty soda from This Ken doesn't faze me, I'm used to those noises. This zesty soda from Kentucky is a great thirst quencher or maybe a chaser. Yeah, have a smell. That is like Oh I can smell it from here. Yeah. Um this is like a, a sprite mixed with a ginger ale, but the ginger's just a hint. It's quite nice. And I'm not a fan of ginger ale beer type things. That's nice. But it, it tastes like spring oh, and like ginger that. ale mixed I like together. That. I, love, I love that. Yeah. So that's September's snack crate box, which was a taste around the US of A. Um, my favourite item has to be the barbecue. The barbecue chips. We haven't finished. Oh, there's still one item left. We forgot about that because we went back. I still think these are my favourites and this is my second favourite though. Yours is the tuna, right? Um, Let's quickly go back and try this. If I, I would say the crisps and the drink. Because I didn't really try much else. Okay, it's, it's just like a glob of caramel. Sorry, it's my stomach's not good. It's like a peanut butter fudge. Oh, it's fudge. No, you're alright. I don't like fudge. I've done it, but I like it. <laughs> you didn't even taste I don't, it before you decided you didn't like it. I have a thing about the texture of fudge, I just don't like fudge. No oh, peanut butter fudge. I don't like fudge. Listen, I haven't changed my favourite, so. It's not September snackery box. 
If you've liked this video and you haven't already given it a thumbs up, please do that because it really helps us out. And we'll see you next time for another video. Keep making memories. Action.